News coming in. Rahul Gandhi's first reaction on getting back his bungalow. Rahul Gandhi has said that the entire nation is my country. Now, remember, this is the piece of big news that's coming in after government sources have told CNN News 18 that Rahul Gandhi will get back his 12 Tughlaq Lane bungalow back. This after his MP status was reinstated. Now, what we are learning is that Rahul Gandhi has given his first reaction after getting back his bungalow. He has made the very political point that the entire nation is my country. That pitch coming in from Rahul Gandhi as government sources point out that he will get back his 12 Tughlaq Lane bungalow. I'm joined by my colleague Palavi Ghosh on the broadcast. Uh, Palavi, so Rahul Gandhi along expected lines making that pitch that the entire nation is my country, my bigger fight is against the Modi government and this is not that bigger development at the end of the day. Yes, and in fact, if you remember when he had lost the house also, he had made very much the same comment that it doesn't really matter to me uh, whether I uh, have this accommodation or not because the entire country is with me and my house belongs, uh, uh, everyone's house in India belongs to me. And at that point of time, there was also a clamor. Many uh, senior Congress leaders, uh, like even uh, the Rajasthan, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bupesh Bhagel among them, had offered their own home to be given to Rahul Gandhi as a residence. But however, when he had vacated his 12th to Clark Lane, he had also done a huge show of it, Ayushman. Remember, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra was there. And, you know, there was an entire camera was called in. He had given a sound bite, pretty much saying the same thing, that the whole world, or the whole of India is where my house is and I don't need to have a particular bungalow. That's exactly the point which he's trying to make. It's a part of his narrative where he pushes off Bharat Jodo Yatra plus Mohabbat Ki Dukan. Clearly not wanting to answer the question specifically, also not wanting to make a political point of it, but clearly also giving the message that as far as the entire country is concerned, that is where his residence is. Right, Palavi, stay with us. We've got that reaction from Rahul Gandhi. Let's listen in. Pura Hindustan is the line that's coming from Rahul Gandhi. Palavi, of course, that pitch coming in as the no trust motion is also heating up uh, inside uh, parliament. Now, when Rahul Gandhi's uh, conviction got stayed by the Supreme Court, we saw, we saw all that pomp and show at the AICC HQ. Could it be that level of a ghar vapsi by the Congress party? Uh, well, if we're going to talk about him taking back his old presidents and whether there's going to be a huge pomp and show, I wouldn't be too surprised uh, if he does that. But I think uh, his exit from that house was a bigger drama moment for the Congress Party and for the Gandhis. And they, also the emotional connect they tried to build up. I mean, you know, uh, every scene was being replayed. Uh, the cameras were called in, him vacating every room and himself locking up the house himself and handing over the keys of his home. And he gave also a very emotive message when he said, I've been living here for over 10 years as a member of parliament and it's the people of the country who gave this house to me. He, uh, you know, for a p politician who's often accused of being entitled, uh, he clearly wants to downplay that tag and downplay that perception. But at least the BJP wants to build up of him by saying that, you know, I'm not going to be attached to any residential uh, uh, or any bungalow. It's the entire country which is where my house is. I still remember as a rifle adhivation of the Congress party, during his speech, he had very much said this, that ever since he was small, he's never been used to a permanent house because his father was a prime minister, then his grandmother was a prime minister. And every time they were out of power, he had to vacate his official bungalow. I think that's the stretch of that uh, narrative which he's trying to push in his reaction, which he's given a short while back. Right, I'm also joined by my colleague Sharon Elizabeth, who's reporting live from 12 Tughlaq Lane, which is Rahul Gandhi's residence, which he has got back. Uh, Sharon, what's the latest from 12 Tughlaq Lane? Are some preparations underway for a grand ghar wapsi? Well, as of now, uh, there is no much movement over here. Usually when we used to come over here, when Rahul Gandhi uh, used to live uh, at 12 Tukluk Lake, there used to be security on both the sides. There used to be his uh, um, SPG, uh, all uh, his security that, need, uh, uh, that used to be here, all the convoy used to be stationed here. But right now, it's only barricades that, were, that we are seeing outside 12 Tukluk Lane. So at the moment, there is no movement, uh, maybe probably because that uh, well, officially... We we just got to know that this is the residence that Rahul Gandhi is going to get back 
as his official residence now now that he has been reinstated as a member of parliament so at the moment there is no movement uh, but as far as rahul gandhi is concerned he has in fact been living here for almost two decades uh, since 2005 he has in fact been living over here and when he left from the his residence remember there was a campaign a very impromptu campaign that started within congress the congress workers and supporters in fact came out and said that mera ghar hai aapka ghar and offered their residence to rahul gandhi when he left from here uh, so clearly they uh, the vacating of rahul gandhi from uh, this residence uh, the congress party has been calling this nothing but political vendetta by the bjp but the bjp has always maintained that as uh, rahul gandhi has in fact been disqualified as the member of parliament hence the process of vacating from the residence also follows and that's exactly what has happened uh, but clearly the congress party uh, you know vac vacating from this residence have been calling this nothing but political vendetta but now that he is going to get his residence back uh, clearly there is going to be of course a lot of uh, movement that we will be seeing here uh, now going on uh, from here on but at the moment there is no movement i will ask my camera person once again to show you usually whenever we used to uh, come here there are two gates uh, at rahul gandhi's residence and uh, at the gate number 1 itself there used to be a lot of uh, security that used to be out stationed right outside the residence of rahul gandhi but today there is no security only barricades that are surrounding uh, rahul gandhi's residence so probably uh, we will see a lot of movement and uh, now that it has in fact been made uh, official that he will be getting back this as his residence 12th o'clock like as the residence uh, probably then we'll see movement outside the residence right and sharon what are you learning from the congress camp because i was having this discussion with palavi as well because many bjp leaders while currently they are saying that it's completely procedural that rahul gandhi is getting his mp residence back when his mp residence was being emptied many bjp leaders lampooned and made fun of rahul gandhi now that he is going to get his same that same residence back as you are saying he has been living there for almost two decades uh, any kind of uh, grand ghar wapsi being planned by the congress party because at the same time this they have pitched as a major victory for rahul gandhi when it comes to taking on the modi government absolutely uh, from day 1 we have been seeing that since his conviction has in fact been stayed by supreme court a congress party is not leaving any chance uh, to make sure that the entire opportunity is milked to the uh, you know extreme extent we are seeing that his welcoming at the aicc office uh, on the day his uh, conviction was stayed after that we have seen how uh, when he had to go to parliament when he was reinstated as the member of parliament yesterday the kind of grand welcome that was given to rahul gandhi similarly now that this residence where he has in fact been living since 2005 is going to be given back to him there is of course going to be a lot of uh, you know grand welcome preparations that are going to be planned by the congress party not just that uh, apart from that on 12th and 13th is when rahul gandhi is planning to go back to his constituency wayanad now for about 134 days all together when he was disqualified as member of parliament he had not visited his constituency so all these you know all these events are going to be of course made into a big uh, uh, you know show of strength big big great show as far as uh, rahul gandhi and congress are concerned because they want to make sure that they use this opportunity the entire disqualification episode to their favor and that is exactly what is happening and like you mentioned ashman earlier that yes when he was in fact leaving from his residence that was uh, i believe 22nd of april because he was disqualified on uh, 24th march and he was given a time period of about one month so 22nd of april was when he was uh, leaving from this residence and we have seen how the congress workers and supporters in fact in large number offered their own residence to rahul gandhi saying that he should be staying with them uh, but we have seen how rahul gandhi decided to in fact stay at uh, sonia gandhi's residence 10 janpat later uh, around uh, last month itself uh, we got to know this information that uh, the former chief minister of delhi uh, shila dikshit her residence at east nizamuddin was also something where rahul gandhi uh, was in fact planning to shift this month if his uh, reinstatement was not going to happen if uh, his uh, conviction was not going to be stayed then the original plan was in fact to shift to the former uh, chief minister of delhi sheela dikshit's residence at east nizamuddin but clearly uh, that was not required any more now that rahul gandhi has in fact been reinstated as a member of parliament 